Hello, today I would like to show you my modification I done for the PRC350 battery adapter. As you can see, I've got it in my hand, and this device, that box, accept uh, 14 the C cells, the R14, that's the model number, the C size or the R14, which is a quite common battery, but it's not that easy to get a rechargeable, cheaply, battery in that size because it's not that common. So after googling, I found a device like this, and this is an adapter you can put inside a standard rechargeable AA battery and you've got your C size. But there is a problem. I put everything I put everything to the box and it does not work. There was no voltage on the output terminal and the radio does not working. So I was like hmm, maybe I I done something wrong, maybe I put the battery in the wrong order. Maybe I blown some kind of a fuse and just to tell you there is no fuse inside. And after really really long investigation I managed to find the problem and I'm going to show you just in seconds. So this is how it looks from the inside. So the old batteries are going in that direction, the, the positive in that way, just like on the on the picture. And it doesn't work. I was trying to to spray a spray a cleaning solution on the contacts because I was thinking that maybe they are dirty and I was reaching and cleaning them but nothing no voltage on the output and what's the problem the problem after long investigation is that this battery have a little bit different size as you can see that one have a longer tip this is a very small difference and when you operate this for example in a flashlight and there is a spring it will accommodate and there will be absolutely no problem but the way this box is made on the bottom there is a very small hole just to fit the the tip the positive connector just the dimension of that small tip and it was not reaching it was forcing on that element and not going enough to make a good contact so i managed to get a very quick fix out of it and i'm going to show you the inside I should use a smaller tip, but as you can see it's fully service able, you can take everything apart. As you can see there is a rest of the cleaning solution, so it's looking beautiful, we've got a gasket over there on the side. And what I actually did, I drill a hole large enough to fit a whole battery. So if I'm going to put our battery like this, as you can see it's going out and making a good contact for the bottom plate. And before the situation was, it was like that. It was just touching the, and the small hole was preventing from making a contact. 
it was looking like that. And now it can extend to get a good contact. So I think that's, uh, that's quite important information for you if you would like to, if you would like to use the, the adapter because there are very commonly battery available. So in that case, you have to drill the hole a little bit larger, just enough to fit your battery to make a good contact. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that video will save you some time because I, I really spent a lot of time before I opened that everything and realized that oh, the hole is too small and it, it doesn't get a good contact. That's the, the problem, the terminal length of the positive. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.